Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at Nissan Futures Tech Seminar. I'll be your moderator today. My name is Maiko Shigenabu with Global, Head, Global, Global Communications of Nissan Motor Company. We'll be introducing Nissan's electrified powertrain technology and future evolution through a combination of presentation and animation through today's seminar. The attendees are Toshihiro Hidai, Senior Vice President responsible for powertrain and EV engineering, and Akihiro Shibuya, Alliance Powertrain Engineering Director with Powertrain EV Engineering Division. So, without further ado, I would like to call upon Mr. Hidai to take the floor. Mr. Hidai, the floor is yours, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Hirai of Nissan Motor Company. I am responsible for product and technology development of powertrain and EV. Thank you for joining Nissan Futures Tech Seminar today. This seminar is intended to present you the contents of the technologies that are integral to making Nissan Ambition 2030 long-term vision a reality. We talked about all solid-state battery and autonomous driving technology in the previous sessions. This is the tech seminar, which is the third one, in which we would like to talk about electrified powertrain, including motor and inverter, and describe the expected progresses of the technologies. In January 2021, Nissan revealed its goals and strategy to achieve carbon neutrality. In order to be carbon neutral in 2050, our aim is to electrify all new models in the key markets from early 2030s. Moreover, in the Nissan Ambition 2030 long-term vision that we unveiled in November of 2021, we positioned electrification as one of the strategic pillars. By 2030, our electrification mix is expected to reach 55% globally, and we will introduce 27 electrified vehicles, including 19 EVs. Nissan is driving electrification based on two pillars, namely battery, EV, and e-power technology. Today, we are going to talk about our strategy and the driving experience we are going to offer to the customers. We will also present the details of the technology backed by a rationale in terms of accelerating electrification world by in pursuit of optimal costs. E-power. What, how did e-power start? E-power is Nissan's original electrification technology that emerged from battery EV. Our company has been developing battery EV ahead of competition. We knew the advantage of driving experience or driving feel delivered by 100% motor driving from early on. In here, on the horizontal axis, you find evolution of powertrain. On the vertical axis, you find how the value goes greater, grows greater. Um, zero emission is on the top right. Battery, one represent example, battery EV. This is the technology. And many car makers, HVB, as you can see from the bottom left, engine is the main source and at downsizing turbo, mild hybrid, strong hybrid are delivered. So electrified motor is working as a complementary device to enhance the performance, whereas Nissan's e-power is based on the backward calculation concept. In other words, first, we try to realize the driving experience through 100% motor driving, and we use engine which is dedicated for power generation. In other words, by changing the role of engine, with flexibility, we can adapt and deliver the electrified solution. In 2010, Nissan introduced mass-marketed Nissan LEAF uh, ahead of competition. Around that time, we built a prototype of e-power equipped model in which highly efficient engine dedicated for power generation is mounted on the EV based on Nissan LEAF. This was the rep this is an example of the 100% motor driving that we have delivered at the time. The drivetrains of EV and e-power share common key components such as motor and inverter as well as the control technologies. 
Our e-power is categorized into series hybrid in terms of the technological classification, but like EV, our e-power is 100% motor driven, which makes it largely different from the traditional parallel hybrid. In EV, the power stored in the battery drives the motor. Our e-power system consists of highly efficient engine dedicated for power generation and a battery with capacity that is much smaller than that of EV, and fuel is used to generate energy. In other words, it is like an EV in which a power station is within the car. As you can see, Nissan's EV and e-power technology enable us to cater to diverse needs of each market depending on energy sources that are available and offer benefits of electrified vehicles across the world while keeping common advantages of motor driving. There are two value positions we would like to make with our electrified vehicles. One is stress-free and ultimate driving feel or driving experience. We aim to offer exciting driving experience that only 100% motor driving can deliver and eliminate potential stress which may be build, building up over time without people noticing it. The second value proposition is to achieve a price that is comparable with that of the ICE, internal combustion engine, so that more people can have an access to the benefits of electrified vehicles, Nissan Six and ultimate cost level with EV and e-power, two types of electric bar train that adapt to diverse needs and accelerate electrification globally. Let me talk a little bit more about exciting driving experience. By using 100% motor driving technology, you will enjoy the driving experience with, or driving feel, which is of a totally different dimension compared with that of internal combustion engine. You will enjoy not only strong and smooth driving performance, but also in, in control feeling by precisely controlling driving and control forces. We can largely enhance driving experience by delivering peace of mind regardless of road conditions and riding comfort to all the occupants in the car. As we work to deliver exciting driving feel or driving experience, Nissan is also honing our capabilities of eliminating potential stressors or potential stress. Are you aware that you build up stress without noticing it while driving? Besides potential stress, you may feel in congestion or traffic jam. For example, in the stop-and-go situation wherein you have to shift from accelerator to brakes in a short interval, or when you have to adjust the steering wheel on the road where you find a series of curves, you may also be stressed when you feel vibration generated by engine of drivetrain or hear unpleasant noise in the cabin and be affected by the unpleasant vehicle behavior. You may not notice it at every moment, but these kinds of experience result in fatigue and motion sickness. Nissan already offers technologies that deliver exciting driving experience and eliminate potential stress with e-pedal e step and e-force. We continue polishing these pieces of technology to make them better. In Pursoft 2030, we talk about new mobility software and connected services are applied on the cars to create new values. Within these circumstances, we would like to offer this transportation space, of which, deli which is delivered electrified vehicles, which is of the different dimension of what you found with the traditional ones. And let me talk about how we are trying to optimize costs to make it accessible to many people. The costs of internal combustion engine are expected to rise given increasing stringency of emission and fuel economy regulations. As far as electrified vehicles are concerned, technological innovations of batteries and electric powertrains are going to reduce costs. With regards to e-power, we aim to achieve its cost to reach a level that is comparable with that of ICE 
around 2026. The key approach sharing common parts, modularization, advancement of core technologies, later Shibuya Sun will give you the details about them. With regards to EV, we are also aiming to make the cost comparable with internal combustion engine eventually through battery technological evolutions such as all solid state battery, which we presented in the past, as well as updating the entire vehicle. It has been about Seven years since we introduced the EV and e power equipped model lineup with 100% motor driving technology for the first time in Japan. We are pleased to see the global deployment of Nissan's electrified vehicles and customers' appreciation. Nissan's electrification mix in Japan, thanks to customers' strong acceptance, reached 52%. We are expanding model and re regional applica application electrified vehicles and increasing the sales mix in many markets. For EVs, we introduce all new area, the new generation EV in the key markets, and all new area is well received in the United States and in Europe. Qashqai e-power became a top seller in the United King Kingdom and is widely accepted in Europe. We also launched Kix e-Power in Mexico. Its sales remain strong and is recognized as a car belonging to the EV category and benefit from tax credit. This is an evidence that e-Power is welcomed in the markets where charging infrastructure is yet to be mature. This concludes my presentation and I will hand it over to Shibuya-san who will talk about two subjects. One is about the technology for delivering stress-free driving. This is about Nissan's engineering effort to eliminate potential stress that is classified into five different types. The second subject is technologies to help achieve an ultimate cost level, which is about sharing common parts, modularization, and evolution of core technologies. These are the three key approaches to make it happen. Thank you for your attention. Nissan promotes electrification through its two pivotal electrified powertrains, electric vehicle or EV and e-power. Since launching the Nissan LEAF EV in 2010, we have continued to bring breakthrough electrified technologies to market. To make electrified vehicles more attractive to consumers, we have been developing battery technologies, including all solid state, more efficient electrified powertrains, and unique motor drive control technologies. Through development of the LEAF, Nissan has pioneered the potential and excitement of electric motor drive. Powerful, yet smooth acceleration, outstanding quietness, and excellent driving performance. And thanks to motor control at the 1 10,000th second level, we have achieved a huge leap in cornering, acceleration, and braking performance. ePower, meanwhile, aims to bring EV driving characteristics to a large number of people. ePower shares core components, control technologies, and production technologies with our EVs. The key difference is that it provides the convenience of a fuel tank. Launched in Japan in 2016, ePower is hitting the road in various markets around the world. To further enhance the competitiveness of our EV and e-power powertrains, we have been developing a new approach under which the two powertrains will also share newly modularized core components. We call this approach X-in-1. The expertise we have gained from the development of both EV and e-power creates benefits for both. These powertrains create new value as they continue to evolve, with their evolution gathering speed as we move forward. Hi. 
As Hirai-san mentioned, let me talk about the two subjects, development of technologies to deliver stress-free driving and what we are doing to achieve ultimate level of costs. I am in charge of e-power development. My name is Shibuya. Thank you for this opportunity. Let me start with potential stress. You heard earlier that stress builds up even when you are driving as usual without noticing it. In order to show you a concrete image, let me show you an animation. For example, when you are merging or changing lanes on the highway, you have to focus and carefully accelerate and decelerate to match the speed with the flow of traffic. In a traffic jam or congestion, you need to accelerate and decelerate according to the sudden behavior of the preceding car and other cars that are changing lanes. Here again, you need to switch between the two pedals, and this is one of the stressors. Next. When you are cornering at medium or high speeds, the vehicle speed may vary and the vehicle's movement and the operation of the steering wheel may not be constant. And that is why you need to make adjustments on the steering wheel precisely. And on the snow road, you may be worried about slipping or sudden movement of your car and tend to hold the steering wheel tightly, which also causes stress. You also as you can see on the diagram, you also find other stressors such as noise and vibration provoked by pottering, which builds up stress without you noticing it. As a result of this potential stress, you will you may result in stiff necks, stiff legs, stiff arms, and motion sickness. In eliminating such stressors, 100% motor driving is one of the promising technologies. Let me describe the advantages 100% motor driving and technological elements that are unique to Nissan. When you are using an engine, this is how it works. The throttle opens after you apply an acceleration pedal, then increases the air, in air intake, injects fuel, and increases the speed of the piston. Because the airflow and the mechanical motion happen in rate-limiting step, it takes time for the car to start accelerating. Whereas in motor driving, which is at the top half, once you apply an acceleration pedal, uh, electrical signal is to increase torque is sent to the inverter and increases electrical current in the motor. Because electricity is a rate-limiting step, it is highly responsive, and which is the strong advantage of 100% motor driving. So far, I talk about the differences between engine and the motor. And does this mean that we can deliver attractive motor driving performance by simply adopting a motor? High responsiveness and smooth acceleration are contradictory, and this is enabled by our sophisticated control technology, which is unique to Nissan, and we have applied for many patents regarding this technology. Let me talk about how it works. On the bottom left, you see a motor and the tires and the drive shaft that connects them. When you apply huge torque to a mortar all of a sudden, the tires do turn. However, the drive shaft is distorted, and in order to fix this distortion, vibration is generated on the tires. The drive shaft is thick, iron, it's made in iron, but slight distortion results in this phenomena. As And on the top right, in the conventional EV, Torque is gradually applied to the motor to prevent such vibration. However, this approach results in slow acceleration. On the bottom right, you see Nissan's motor vibration control technology. We precisely control the torque on the motor by thus deliver strong and smooth acceleration without vibration. On the bottom right, let me show you in the slow motion, you can see that the system quickly increases the motor torque, release it once, and increase the torque again in short intervals. The vibration control is enabled by predictive feed-forward control and feedback control that enhances stability against disturbances. This is the advantage of 100% motor driving in Nissan's original vibration control. Let me show you how these help reduce potential stress. 
This is about switching between accelerator and brakes frequently. In order to reduce the number of times to switch pedals, we offer innovative technologies which are e pedal step. As you can see on the bottom left, you need to push on acceleration pedal to accelerate and apply brakes when you want to slow down. That's how the traditional system works. When you use the e pedal step, which is on the top left, you apply acceleration pedal to speed up, which is the same as traditional car. However, the difference is that e-pedal stop, you can control the deceleration using motor regeneration by adjusting how much you push on the pedal. If you look on the winding road in the mountain, when you slow down right before the curb, you need to switch the, to the brakes in a traditional car and accelerate. When to, to accelerate, you push an accelerator. However, e-pedal step enables you to adjust the degree of deceleration by adjusting the force you apply on the acceleration pedal. And you can see that you the necessity to switch between accelerated and brakes is limited. As I presented, Nissan's precise motor control reconciles high responsive and smoothness, and by thus limiting the necessity to switch over the pedals. At the time of acceleration, you see the diagram which shows the acceleration profile. On the left, this is the standing start. The other car makers' driving profile, as you can see in green, is slow or just like blue, is vibrating. But on the red line, this is represent Nissan E-Bar acceleration profile thanks to good responsiveness and smoothness. These are reconciled thanks to the sophisticated control technology. On the right, you see the acceleration profile when the car is overtaking. Here again, acceleration profile E-Power is highly responsive and yet smooth. When the car accelerates in the way that the driver intends to do, you can reduce the necessity of modifying the pedal application. And thanks to high responsiveness, you can adapt to changing distance between the cars and changes in the environment with leeway. And in fact, Nissan's motor driving is particularly effective when it comes to off-road and rough terrains. Please take a look at the left. This is X-Trail of internal combustion engine. When the car goes over the stepped surface, because there is a time lag between when you push on the accelerator and when the car actually speed up, the driver tends to push on the accelerator more than what is needed. Once the car overcomes the stepped surface, it goes faster than what you intended, so the driver has to brake it. And this is the 4WD of Nissan. Nissan. You, because the car goes faster as you push on the acceleration pedal, you don't have to overdo it. Therefore, you can generate necessary driving force at the necessary timing, and you can operate by only applying acceleration pedal. Even on the rough roads, you can enjoy smooth driving with peace of mind. And this is how we reduce stress. Now, let me talk about the vibration transmitted from the dri drivetrain and unnecessary noise. On the left, you see the engine room and how the EV drives when the simple motor control is ab applied. You can see that the motor is shaking at the time of standing start. On the right-hand side, you see how the car starts moving when Nissan's vibration control is applied. You can see the vibration of motor is smaller. When I talk about vibration control, I said that when high torque is applied to the motor, the drive shafts twist and the tires vibrate. In reality, tires do not move much because of friction between the tire and the road surface. However, motor does shake a lot. And the vibration from the motor is transmitted through the vehicle body to the occupants on board. Nissan's vibration control minimizes such vibration. Our motor control technology does not only reduce vibration caused by motor on paved roads, but also prevents vibration caused by road conditions such as sand and deep snow. This is high, robust, and tolerant, so to speak, it is. The image on the left shows a vehicle on sand with and without control technology. You see, without our control technology, the vehicle is shaking up and down while moving forward, but with the control technology, the car is moving smoothly without vibration. When you look on the photo on the right, you can see that the surface of the sand is flat even after the vehicle with the control technology passes, but for the one without the control technology, you see gaps on the surface of sand in the case of the car without the control technology. This is the image of deep snow. 
Without the control technology, the car is shaking up and down. The car with control technology is driving smoothly without vibration. Uh, let me show you how it works on the right hand side. Without the control, the tire is digging a hole in the road without the control technology. And when the tires rotate in deep snow, sand, when the contact area between the tires and ground grows bigger, driving force is transmitted and the car gets out of the hole. This is what you repeat. And this causes a vertical, vertical vibration. Not wet, wet and frozen roads. Irrespective of the road conditions, we are very, our car is very stable against the disturbances. Let me talk about necessary noise in the cabin. This is the noise caused between the gears. When you push on the accelerator, the gear at the side of the motor pushes the gear on the side of the tires, and this moves the car. When you release the acceleration pedal, the cogwheel or gear on the side of the motor slows down, but the gear on the side of motor keeps on moving because of inertia. As a result, moving gear on the side of the tires interferes with the gear on the side of motor, and this creates vibration and noise. When you push an acceleration pedal, the gear or the cogwheel on the side of the motor touches the one on the side of the tires. In order to prevent these small noise, Nissan designs feed forward control technology considering the possible mechanical contacts. By reducing torque applied in motor before the gear comes into contact, we reduce the noise between the gears and drive smooth and deliver a smooth acceleration and deceleration regardless of the circumstances. Different subject. This is another way to prevent small noise. Wound field synchronous motor adopted on all new area controls. Magnetic power reduces motor noise and largely cuts the cruising noise. As you can see, Nissan is doing the utmost to prevent noise that occupants find unpleasant to eliminate driving stress. Lastly, let me talk about the fine operation of steering wheel and vehicle sway. As I said, what I'm going to show you is on the slippery road. In order by enhancing turning performance, in regard with re respect of the road conditions, you can drive as usual. What you see today is the all-new Aria EV and the previous generation X-Trail. Aria excels in turning performance and traces the expected line without moving beyond the outer circle or outer perimeter. This is the same, right? And the car turns effectively on snow roads. Here you see the comparison between previous generation X-Trail and the all-new X-Trail with E-Force. You can see that the new X-Trail enjoys better turning performance and traces the intended line without moving outside the perimeter. And this is from the top where you see an eye surface. And you can see that the car is following the expected line. Nissan's original all-wheel drive control technology force enables driving as usual even on slippery road. So let me show you how we are enhancing the turning performance. On the right-hand side, E-Force delivers you see how much driving force is generated on the front and rear wheels is on the top. And at the bottom, we control braking power applied on the tires. So we integrate the control on two aspects to realize the expected vehicle behavior. I will use the video to show you how E-Force works. E-Force路面状態と車両姿勢で刻々と変わるタイヤのグリップ限界を把握し、2つの高出力モーターで駆動力を自動的にコントロールします。E-Force の技術があらゆる路面でもスムースで 
力強い走行を実現させました。はい、えー、それでは。Now let me talk about how we are enhancing the driving comfort thanks to eForce. Please take a look at the animation on the left. In the car without eForce, when you decelerate, the front end of the car sinks and the passenger's or occupant's body lean forward. On the other hand, with car with eForce, the system controls the vehicle behavior and decelerates in a flat manner, and so the posture of the occupants do not change. Nissan is taking on the challenge of designing riding comfort for, by focusing on ergonomic parameters. In order to prevent the movement of the posture of the people, we are making efforts. Let me show you further technical description. On the right hand side, the yellow circle, this is the center of the pitch. This is the center of the pitch rotation. The yellow circle indicates the center of rotation of the car in the which pitch direction. Occupants sitting all from at a distance from the car center of rotation will be thrown forward by the pitch. Our approach is to bring the center of rotation of the pitch closer to the occupants as much as possible to reduce the movement or the change of the postures of the occupants. By using E Force technology and adjusting front and rear motor generation, we can move the center of rotation of the pitch. Here, I sh Showed what happens at the time of deceleration, and same thing can be said at the time of acceleration. This is how we reduce the movement of passengers or occupants' body and offer better driving comfort. So, we are taking on a challenge to design riding comfort by focusing on ergonomic parameters. This is how we eliminate the potential stress. As you can see, Uh, by reducing potential driving stress that is building up without the drivers noticing it, we can significantly improve riding comfort. With the 100% motor driving that is common between Nissan's battery EV and e power and Nissan's unique control technology, we will continue advancing research and development in order to eliminate potential stress of the customers. Let us move on to the latter half of the presentation. As Hirai san mentioned in the beginning, Nissan aims to make the level of electrified vehicle cost comparable with that of the internal combustion engine. These are the three key approaches to pursue the ultimate cost level and expedite electrification globally. They are sharing common parts, modularization, and evolution of core technologies. Let me start with sharing common parts. So far, Nissan has been implementing a strategy to make core parts of battery and e power common. However, however, required specifications of motor between battery EV and an electrified vehicle in which the motor assists the engine is different, and thus it is difficult to make them common. When it comes to battery and when it comes to battery EV and e-power that is focused on 100% motor driving, required specifications for core parts are largely common, and so we enjoy high commonization rate and are able to design in a way that is applicable to both battery EV and e-power. We started by adopting an inverter on the first generation Note e-power that is common with the Nissan Leaf. Today, all new area and the new Note uses a common inverter. With respect to motor, we started by sharing a common inverter between Nissan Leaf and the first generation Note e-power. Today, all new x -trail, x rear motor is common with Sakura's front motor. We are increasing the scope of commonization across the lineup. Let me talk about modularization. We unveiled the next generation electric powertrain that is designed to pursue commonization. The next generation x one The next generation x one shares common core parts of motor, inverter, and gear between EV and e-power. We are developing for battery EV a uh, three-in-one characterized by a module consisting of motor, inverter, and reducer. At the same time, we are developing for e-power a five-in-one that integrates generator and increaser on top of it. By sharing entire compar core parts of technology while adopting new materials for rare earth 3, we expect to reduce cost by 30% against the 2019 level. The next generation x one does not only help optimize cost but also pursue an ideal package for a car as a whole. Nissan has been working to make parts more compact for EV and e-power 
And since the mod minor mon model change of the first-generation LEAF, we integrate the motor inverter starting from the first-generation no-deep power. We apply direct cooling technology on inverter and reduce the size by more than 20% through modularization. With sx in one we aim to reduce the mass by additional 10% vis-a-vis 2019. While working on downsizing and applicability, we are building structure with high rigidity to achieve excellent NVH performance. Our uh, let me talk about some examples, evolution of core technologies that we are working on along with x one starting with updating mortar. This is about updating magnet materials and optimizing magnet circuit to reduce rare earth consumption, which we have been working on. Since we launched the first generation Nissan Leaf, we have been updating magnet metals. We significantly reduced the amount of consumption of heavy rare earth elements required to ensure the heat resistance of magnets, adopting technologies such as grain boundary diffusion and fine crystallization to improve the heat resistance of magnets in terms of materials and structure. We are also optimizing magnetic circuit of motor. As you can see on the right, by optimizing the surface shape of the rotor, we can significantly reduce the iron mass generated on the iron surface. Traditionally, heat generation was controlled by dividing the magnet. However, in all new node, we are able to increase the temperature without splitting the mag magnet. In other words, we can control heat generation of the motor while reducing heat resistance required for magnet. By combining updated core technologies, we will be reducing consumption of rare earth to 1% or less in the future. Next is about updating the inverter. If we compare the first generation e power that was applied to the first generation node e power and the second generation e power, inverter is smaller with better performance. Output density is improved by two times. This is enabled by the uh, technology to mount elements that we have been honing during the long years of experience of doing inverter in-house. We ensured high quality required for automobiles and considered trade-offs such as heat and insulation and achieved space savings millimeter by millimeter. We will keep on increasing output density of inverter from all the aspects such as downsizing power semiconductor that is undergoing continuous evolution downsizing technology that we have been honing and future adoption of silicon carbide. The evolution of these techno core technologies are providing foundation for development of XM1. I talked about three approaches, namely commonization, modernization, evolution of core technologies. We will continue making the efforts and strive to offer the benefits of 100% motor driving that is common between EV and e-power to more customers by working cost optimization. We aim to make the cost of e-power comparable with that of internal combustion engine by around 2026. Since we launched Nissan Leaf in 2010 and Note e Power in 2016, Nissan has been updating the two electric powertrains, EV and e Power, and has been delivering many models across the markets. We continue driving electrification globally by offering solutions that are adapted to market needs and contribute to carbon neutrality. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Hirai-san and Shibuya-san. That completes Nissan Futures Tech Seminar for today. We hope that you will look forward to Nissan of Technology going forward. Thank you again for joining our presentation and seminar. Thank you and good day.